Uh, welcome to, I think, number eight of the Gamer Tits Duo podcast. I think, I think it's eight. Think it, it might be like seven. I think it's seven. Might be seven. I think it's eight. But um, I'll check in a minute. But I'm one of your hosts, TB Stack, but you can call me Teddy. Um, I don't normally wear these yeah. on the podcast. Just realize that. I also shaved. Look at how my, yes. Dude, look. Look at this crap. I shaved <laughs> and got my hair cut. I look like five years Whoa. younger. It's really weird. Like, there's nothing here. Also, I, I'm. It's to the point where I have to shave every morning now. Like, not. Mm. I used to have to shave like every three days or something, but now I have yeah. to shave every morning. So, like, I didn't shave this morning, but I shaved yesterday morning. Freaking stubble, dude. Freaking. Yeah. It's it's legit. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. But um, yeah. also, you know what's legit? Since I have cable. Oh, this right. is uh our my my co-host, Eric. Yeah. Eric. Otherwise known as Legend PVM. He's sitting mm-hmm. there in all of his glorious blurriness, like yeah. usual. <laughs> That's pretty usual. Yeah. But, dude, what's glorious is that I have cable in my room now. So the freaking Packers and Seahawks game is going on over there. I can just look <laughs> over every now and then. It's great. It's great. Oh, I didn't start the timer. Dang it. But this is the weekly podcast that me and Eric do where we talk about games, movies, TV, comics every now and then in you in never general. know you never you never know what's gonna come out uh, also destiny that that's like its own sub <laughs> yes. category by now <laughs> uh dang it i can't <laughs> i'm having problems with my phone i can't go to the right thing there it is there we go but yeah so as of right now the packers are winning 13 to 0 13 to 0. When this okay. comes out, it'll be already done. Of course, I'm wearing the same shirt as last week because Colts. Yeah. Colts yeah. and Patriots. Honestly, I don't expect the Colts to win, but I want them to win. But I, I, I don't expect them to win. Uh, you know, I mean. Freaking Patriots. Yeah, I told my dad this. Statistically, in. Oh, also, sometimes we talk about football. <laughs> Statistically, the Patriots should win. Like, I think they're a better team. They just. Mm-hmm. I, I think they are. But it's a playoff game, so you never freaking know. Playoff games, right. you freaking have one interception that turns the whole game around. True. You never know. But, uh, yeah, that's why this, uh, this Packers and Seahawks game, it's like 13-0 right now. I bet it's not going to be that in the fourth quarter. It'll be no. pretty close in the fourth quarter, probably. I can't tell how much time is left. I think that says second quarter, 11 minutes. So it's almost half time. It's pretty far away, and it's a 32-inch TV, so I can't uh-huh. see that well. But I can get the general gist of it. So lots of things happened this week. Not too many things in general for the yeah, gaming nothing industry. Nothing, like, uh, insane. Yeah, or... but there were, there were a decent amount of stuff that we can talk about. And also, oh, um, I want to have a new... update. Yeah, oh, yeah, that too. Oh, whoa! Eric just brought a topic. It may have been in the middle of the show. <laughs> Yeah. But he got one. <laughs> I, I knew I had something up my sleeve. There you go. Secret <laughs> uh, weapon. But, uh, yeah, I think we should have a new section. A new, yeah, section where we talk about any sort of good or interesting loot drops that we got this week, you know? Yeah. For like, you know, I got a lot, minutes. and I wanted to brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> After this, I'm going to go... Probably watch this game. And, oh, snap. Oh, oh, Packers almost scored. Almost oh, scored. Snap. <laughs> oh, wow. No. <laughs> yeah, after this, I'm probably going to go watch the game, turn it up a little bit, or maybe yeah. find some website and put it on the other monitor, and then do my bounties on my Warlock. Level you, up. You, you, could do, you, could sit on your, you could sit on your couch. Remote. Get on your Vita. I could. Play Destiny. I could. <laughs> and then watch the game <laughs> i very much could but i i don't know I, dude you know it would be perfect everyone no one they're not gonna make this because the vita is basically a controller and that's what they right. try and advertise but i would love like you know how they've advertised those phones that mm-hmm. like have you know they have the phones also yeah justice league case they have yeah. the phone and you can like attach a controller to the bottom of it oh yes you know like Il- visual illustration here like that like is like a thing in. ying yeah, like plugs yeah, in they, somehow like that. I seen that yeah I wish they had that for the Vita 
if I that could, would be great. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, they would never make it because they hold, they advertise the Vita as like the second controller, which right. it is. But it's got the analog yeah. sticks are like Isn't little nubs. Third and party company no... that makes a controller for it though. What do you uh, maybe? Like it goes it hooks onto the back of the Vita and it has like the grips. There's one that and extended analog sticks. I don't know. Maybe, but the one that I know of just gives it like a little bit of an extra, like better feel. Like it, it, it makes it like it sticks onto the Vita. Where is my Vita? <laughs> the frick? Where is the Vita? <laughs> I have no idea where it is. That's kind of worrying. Oh, it's in my car. <laughs> it's in my car. It's in the glove box of my car. I didn't get it out. But yeah, I wish I could hook the controller to the bottom of it because I like. My Vita, but I like it for you know Vita specific games. I, I like I don't know. Yeah. I, I like I can remote play Destiny on it and it works great, but I'm not going to because it doesn't have L2 and R2 and it and the analog sticks are nubs. Yeah. So, but if I could freaking do this, just freaking take a controller and a little mini screen with me, and be able to remote play. Yeah. Oh, that'd I'll be show awesome. You what I was talking about. Um, this is it's probably what I said where it's just like it, yeah. It's like a really thin. Yeah, it, like, it literally just makes it more ergonomic and puts the L1 yeah. and R1 on, like further down. So yeah, yeah, I've seen that. It 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 doesn't do what I would want it to do, but it's mm. it's a cool idea. If they just polish that up. That'd be cool. All right, we find it. <laughs> yeah, after this, I'll probably. <laughs> after this, I'll probably go and watch. Oh, this is episode eight. So, hey, dude. Also, yeah. I had this idea. What if for episode ten? I had this idea for today, but then I was like, nah. What if for episode? Because I don't know. It has to be like a special occasion. It should be like a rare thing. Mm -hmm. What if for every ten episodes, or every five episodes, or something? No, nope. <laughs> no singing, <laughs> no singing. But uh, we, uh, what I could do. Is I could easily set, not easily, it'd be a little bit difficult, but I could do it. I could set, you know, all of my computer stuff on this monitor. I could pull the PS4 up on this monitor, and basically, mm -hmm. I could set it so that it records. Like, I remember when I was testing stuff, and I was streaming, and I, you were like, could you have my picture up there? And I was like, you know what, there is a way I could do that. And I, like, worked out where mm -hmm. you could bring the square. I could basically have Black Flag because it's a really pretty game and I so kind of like want to play it. Gameplay? Yeah, like, but not yeah. just background gameplay. Like, I'd be playing it. You know, okay. I'd be playing a game that, like, doesn't have, require right. much focus or something. And we mm -hmm. could just, uh, like, I'd just be sailing around the Caribbean. And I'd, I could still pull out the topics and whatnot. But, yeah, right. it'd, be, it'd be a live commentary mixed with mixed with the podcast and it it'd be good because it'd have you me on the right and you on the left yeah great. so we should do that cool. every like 10 or 5 episodes or maybe if anybody's could, watching this let us know what... maybe you put the gameplay like you could sit to the left of your camera and have the gameplay over here kind of like on uh kids react <laughs> oh well no uh, it's it's two of us uh, i want it big and with just us. But you just want the game out and then us yeah up here yeah i don't yeah i don't want the <laughs> game smaller I don't know. but yeah no nah. but we can do that we'll do that sometime <laughs> it'll be cool so let's see here gta 5 was announced for pc you know it's it's been announced for pc well, yeah. but the release date and the oh, like, um minimum what? and recommended specs were announced because there was a release date before yeah. <clears throat> but basically they pushed it back like two or three months. Two. Right. Pushed it back two months. It was supposed to come out in like a week or two. And then they were just oh, like, really? yeah, it was supposed to come out like late January or, or mid January. And then they released the <laughs> release date and they were like, oh, no, no, you got to wait till March. So March 24th with the. Well, uh, March is actually a, uh, a really big date for a lot of uh, games to come out. I think Battlefield Hardline is coming out. In March? Uh, several other, yeah, in March. That's interesting. That's when a lot of games are. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's kind of like the fall of the new year. 
<laughs> the fall of the spring. <laughs> yes. The yeah, fall. Battlefield, <laughs> Battlefield <laughs> Hardline comes out on March 17th. Wow. Because, you know, that's when uh, Titanfall and... Yeah. Infamous all it's like a little mini there. fall, basically. Yeah, a mini it fall. It happens every spring. But here... <laughs> If anyone cares, take a look at those minimum and recommended specifications. All right. Well, this gives us some time. Oh no, he's he's not leaving. <laughs> he's just getting no, up. I'm just getting up. Um, no, yeah, I'm take like... a look. Minimum specs, what? recommended specs. That's kind of standard stuff. But the big dealio is that it requires 65 gigabytes of hard drive space. Everything What's... else is kind of normal. 65? <laughs> 65 gigabytes of hard drive space. Gosh, it's yep. giant. It's kind of, kind of freaking huge. But, um, yeah. So here it all is. Grand Theft Auto V, blah, blah, blah. Heists. Whatever. What, what was I don't the, know. Uh, like, graphics requirements or whatever? Catch that. They're... It, they're they're in the link in the Google Doc. Oh, I didn't... No, you sent it in the Doc. No, oh, in the Google Doc. Okay. Yeah. Well, there it is on the chat. Uh, uh, okay, I'll go into the chat. <laughs> well, I, well, have fun looking at that. I already showed it to everybody. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm going to delete that. Um. So let's see. Yeah. So I that's a thing. That. I I bought GTA Five for like um during Christmas when I had like some gift cards and I had a little bit of money to buy like two games. So I bought Grand Theft Auto V because I had heard so much about GTA over, like, years and years. And I still do, because GTA V is going on, and I still hear a lot about it. But I played it. Um, so far, I don't necessarily understand all the hype. I, I don't Dude, really like, get it. I, I, uh, I saw someone on the kind of funny page, mm -hmm. whatever they're like. That was like... Yeah, five is like the best it, game yeah, ever. Yeah, somebody said that world. it has to be I'll included like... in the list of best games of all time. Yeah, and I'm almost like... everyone was like, "Yeah, man, it does." Really? So like, uh, uh, basically, I don't know. A, <laughs> a, a drug, a gangster simulator. Yeah. Where you, just you do run some stuff? cops and shoot civilians. I don't. I don't really. I mean, I like I, somebody enlighten me. Somebody in the comments, if you are watching, enlighten me. I don't really get it. No, I can say I can I can understand if there's like a lot of like extracurricular stuff to do in that, but like yeah, like if I you mean, could treat if you could treat that game like The Sims, and it also yeah. be GTA, that would be freaking legit. That's what it's honestly probably, kind of what I thought that on PC. Yeah, that's I kind of you. that's kind of what I thought I could do. I thought I could do some so, a little you bit know, of normal go, stuff. Go to a restaurant, work at a restaurant, be like mm -hmm. cooking mama. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be really awesome. I honestly think it would remind me of my good old pink club penguin days. Yeah, making Your, pizza uh, in the back. Making pizza in the back. <laughs> good stuff. Oh man, I oh, would honestly, I would honestly buy that. Uh, well, I kind of did because I kind of thought that's what it was. I mean, Skydiving is like a sport in that game, apparently. Oh, <laughs> also, can you hear the TV? Because I actually have the volume up a little bit. No. Okay, cool. I can hear like I can hear it, like very slightly. It's a it's a Ford commercial. A guy's driving his truck. He looks all happy. Oh wait, no Chevrolet. It's a Chevrolet commercial. But he's <laughs> driving his truck. He's like. Dude, like we're, we're going to get some comments being like, oh, you said four when it's actually several. Like, oh. <laughs> no, I actually get it. upset about that. Yeah, There's but only if they were. Cars and stuff. Yeah. It's like, get a car that works. Don't complain about if it's Chevy or. Ford yeah, like or legit. I like my car because it drives. And. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It drives places. Um, it's not horrible gas mileage. I like my mom's Chevy car because it drives. Yeah. It. I I don't know. It, it goes on the road and gets me to A to B. Yeah. Um, that's that's what a car is for. Yep, Some people car. might argue it's for more, but I don't know. Uh, so pick up chicks. So let's just <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh truck talk. Let's discuss yeah. PlayStation Now that technically has been too. out, but it came out with the subscription model in the last week, like last Tuesday. Eight. So let's discuss it. I'm gonna go to the store and find the list of all of the games. That my you can question, use. my pressing question for it is: Is it worth the money 
Dude, and what, what I have to say point? is that I haven't experienced <laughs> yeah. it. You know what? I should do homework. I think I should. I think I should because it comes. There's a seven day free trial. I think we should spend mm-hmm. a day and like next Saturday or something and just play and just like do the seven day trial and like play a game and see how it works and report back to you guys. That's what yeah. we should do. Uh, I actually kind of wanted to do that today, but I didn't have time. But uh, let me see. I'm trying to find the list of all the games that you can do. But the thing is, is people people actually really think that people are saying that it is worth it. Like people who are using it say that it's awesome and it works and there's like virtually no latency whatsoever. List games. PlayStation so now. let me let me get this right. Uh, it, you pretty much you subscribe or get the free trial, whatever, and then you go through the catalog of games and you pick a game you want, and it streams it to your yeah, instantly PS4 from their servers or whatever from yeah. some sort of so that you don't have to download it or anything. Yeah, that's yep. cool. And you can do it. And cool the whole word. plan is that you can do it on a Vita, on a PlayStation Now phone. On and on a PlayStation TV that I have on a on a legitimate PlayStation TV like an actual you know like a TV mm. that is a Sony brand and yeah. all of that stuff. Um, so you just bring a controller like this little PlayStation. I wish I could pick it up, but it's hooked up to stuff. It's really small. It's like this big. It's a yeah. little PlayStation TV thing. You can hook it into the TV, and I will be able to like play ps4 and ps3 stuff over there if what i really need to hook that over there is a longer ethernet cord because i want to be able to hardwire it because i told you this before but people said that if you hardwire your playstation tv into the same connection that your ps4 is on it basically has like no latency so Mm -hmm. when you remote play so i'd be able to remote play stuff on that tv over there it's a little bit bigger yeah and i can just chill on a couch instead of sitting at a desk i like sitting sitting at my desk most of the time but you other get your times, computer for like yeah. everything else. <laughs> yeah, most of the time I really do. Um, mm-hmm. The PlayStation Now open... Wow, they're still calling the PlayStation Now an open beta, dude. They're still calling it a beta. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. wait. Nope, nope, that's wrong. That is wrong. Don't, wow, don't, don't, don't judge me there. I can't find the list of subscription titles. I could find it easily if I opened my PS4, but I don't want to. <laughs> subscription... Titles. PlayStation Now streaming game service on consoles. Now subscriptions and rentals. List of PlayStation Now games. Oh, PlayStation Now is all you can stream game subscription? Maybe maybe this one is it. Yeah, yeah. This looks like it has the list. Well, hmm. there's not one that I can find that has a legit list, but this has a giant picture of all the games, so I can uh, name some off of here. Um, yeah, so basically my deal with the PlayStation Now is if it had Uncharted 3 on it, I would be playing it since it came out. I'd be already on that crap because what it does is it takes, if you have played that game on your PS3, it will just take your save from the cloud and you can just continue where you left off. And the same with trophies, like it acts with trophies. So basically I could just pay like 20 15 bucks a month depending on the one month or three month plan and just play all my ps3 games on on mm-hmm. ps4 and i wouldn't have to keep switching consoles and i could play uncharted 3 and finish my crushing playthrough um there's some good games on this list like freaking killzone 3 is good god of war ascension infamous one freaking lego batman 2 holy crap lego batman 2 um <laughs> Guacamelee, Spelunky, which we already have on PS4. I don't know why that would be needed. Walking Dead Season yeah. 1. Batman Arkham City. Freaking <laughs> The Last of Us. Freaking The Last of Us. Um, I love the Sonic that's game. Wow. <laughs> Let's huh? play Sanic. Oh, two Sanic games. I say two oh Sanic gosh. games. Gotta go fast. Gotta... Dark Souls 2. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's why people are praising this because it apparently works and even if it doesn't have you game the so game you want game on it. Netflix. It's Netflix. just crap loads of games that you could just play for a subscription yeah. fee. Like that's legit, dude. Yeah, it's people are saying it's like game Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. If they like the month they add uncharted 3, I I am dropping money and I am doing it. 
Hopefully they continue, like, like hopefully next month they'll add some more games onto there. I think mm-hmm. we should do it anyways, though, just to look. Sniper Elite 3? Holy crap. Dead Island. You know what's funny? I, even know that, I didn't even know there was a second Sniper Elite. <laughs> Dang, dude. Sniper Elite That's 3 came out this year. Not caught up with. Or last year, technically. I played the first Sniper Elite, and it was awesome. Yeah, I saw a lot of people playing Sniper Elite 3 when it came out, and I wish I could have gotten it, but there was, like, no marketing or hype or anything for that game, so I didn't know until, like, it came out, and I didn't have any money for it. Shoot Hitler in the balls. Yeah, you can shoot anything in the balls, if you believe. Yeah, know, but it's Hitler. <laughs> oh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I'm trying to... Oh, look, Bioshock Infinite. Ooh, I could do the seven-day trial and continue on that. Um, yes. That's good. I might do the seven-day trial this week. I probably will. <laughs> Bioshock. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maybe. Probably. You could stream it on Saturday as well. Probably. I'll probably do this. Three. There are so many games. Oh, dude, look, Sly Cooper. You can play Sly Cooper. We should do this, no. like, after we end the, the after we end the freaking podcast. We should go play. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I should. Oh, you're I doing should. You're doing homework. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're super blurry oh, no. when I just changed uh, you. <laughs> oh, no. I literally just changed because you held up your paper. I changed mm-hmm. my camera to you, and then your 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 paper was gone, and you were super blurry. <laughs> so GG. Uh, I hate my camera doesn't autofocus for nothing. Yeah, it's dumb. But seriously, we should. Man, what time is the Colts game? The Colts game is at like five thirty. Yeah, so like two hours from now. But you still have you still have your homework. So. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe af- Maybe tonight. I don't know. I'm trying yeah. to pump through this. Um, yeah, maybe tonight after the Colts game when I'm done eating, I can come up here and, uh... Yeah. 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 Um... Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's PlayStation Now. People are liking it. We haven't really tried it yet, but people are liking it. It's, uh... Supposedly pretty awesome, and I it kind of makes me really want to try it. But cool. after this, I gotta, I gotta get my bounties done. I gotta level that Hawk Moon. Let's see mm. here. I'm going to level hard light because people are saying it's good in PvP. Interesting. Hard light sounds really cool. Like, that's the that's the big thing I've noticed about it. It sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Um, So, the Order 1886 has gone gold, as people say, cool. in the gaming industry. Which basically mm-hmm. means it's done. Like they're, like, they're packing up copies and being ready right. to ship them to retail stores and all that. But... The yeah, people were talking about what gone gold means now. Um, people were saying basically now it means that it's in beta. <laughs> yeah, basically in, in today's society it means that they're done with the original game and now they're working on the day one patch. So <laughs> yeah. hopefully that's not the case. But they also we also have the trophy list right here. So let's go through these. There's a platinum, of course. Complete the game on any difficulty. Kill five enemies with a headshot during black sight. Don't know what that is. See, I'm tempted to get this game. I'm going to look at the reviews, and then I might get it. I I'm, I actually might have the money by that time. But um, I don't know. There's a, lot, there's a lot of aspects of the order that I like, like the third-person shootery and the freaking... <laughs> yet, like, apparently, I just saw a, a, a trophy in here that said something about a sword. I like its era as well. Uh, I didn't see that. But yeah, it's like all these we- different weapons and the third person thing and that yeah, the the time period's pretty cool and the the universe is kind of cool. I don't like how dark it is and all that, but the time period's cool and all that. The the guns are cool. The the freaking it seems like there's a lot of guns yeah, from this. The from audio this sounds list. awesome. Yeah, the audio sounds awesome. Visually it looks good. If it runs well, it'll be great. But yeah. so a lot about it I like. Some about it I'm not a big fan of, like the horror-y creepiness. It and, has a horror uh, aspect. And apparently the mechanics aren't super smooth. But maybe they they've ironed, ironed out some, some stuff. Yeah. So I'll I'll wait for the reviews and then I might get this. I might get this. Let's just go through I these. For it, I really yeah. hope it turns out well. So let's see. I'm gonna leave the camera. Like, that um, game was like poked at when the PS4 wasn't even out, I believe. Oh like, yeah, it, it yeah, was. That was a, wasn't it, was it the E3? It was announced at the E3 before PS... At the same one with PS4, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're right. Pregnant pause. All right, let's see here. Yep. Kill an enemy with every weapon. Kill 40 enemies with science weapons. See, that's what I meant by it. It seems like Wait, there's a lot so of that, guns. That means it's going to be kind of like 
if you if there's a weapon, you're gonna know what its name is. No, kill three so enemies. So there's not gonna be like an insane amount of weapons. And then there's the general kill three enemies with a single explosion. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Lots of cool well, stuff. Like, shoot here. a barrel. Boom. Inspect all newspapers. Collect all. Seems like so a good trophy tools. list. Yeah. Nothing whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I just finished the list. There's not that many. Okay, there's not that many, and we need to see if there is basically complete the game on the hardest difficulty because that one sucks. Well, um, nah. shooting everyone. I'm probably going to play it on its hardest difficulty. I won't if there's not a trophy. Let's see. Oh, sure. There isn't. There isn't one. It's just complete the game on any difficulty, and then it's the general kill 40 enemies with this, blah, 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 inspect no. all this, detonate this. There's got to be something. I would think. Trophy. That's how. That's, think. Like a, that's like a staple in trophies. But it's not always there. There are rare cases where it's not there. We'll but see. it is most of the time there. That's why I was confused. Let's see. There's a golden trophy called Brilliant that says shoot an airborne grenade during black sight. Shoot an wow. airborne grenade. That does sound a little bit rough. But maybe, uh, maybe, maybe somebody has to toss some... it up and then do that in co-op maybe. Maybe Friend there's a shotgun it up. that you can like shoot. Yeah. That would probably make it easier. Or maybe there's a gun that has like a laser and like tracks to nearby like um, a shock. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, this game, I really want it to be good. So, I don't know. I'll probably get it. I I have a little bit of money, but uh, not too much money. I, <laughs> Just I, a little bit. If I do get I, money, I'm pre-ordering Uncharted in uh, that game. So Yeah, you should also pre-order Batman. But, uh, yeah, would, see, this is my thing. What I'm gonna... What I'm gonna... Like, if I can't even... Like, the games that I am prioritizing, like, even if I only have money to get these games, this is what I'm getting, and then I'm eating cheap the rest of the freaking week, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm getting... Yeah. I am I am going to get Batman Markham Knight, um, Uncharted 4, but Uncharted 4, I am going to save for that freaking collector's edition, which they haven't announced yet, mm -hmm. and it worries me, because I would like to go ahead and just put some money towards that, but I can't, because it's not announced. Yeah. But... Yeah, because I freaking... Uncharted is, like, my second favorite series of all time. Look at it. Look at it. Hold on. <laughs> got the little Drake here. <laughs> the little Drake. Look at it. Uncharted 3. I got the Uncharted 3 Collector's Edition. It makes me really sad that I never got the Infamous 2 Collector's Edition. Because I got Infamous 2 not really expecting to love it. But then I loved it. And yeah. I didn't get the uh, regular... Collector's edition because I never just shelled out the money. Did you get Second Sons? Mm, no, because there there wasn't really. If I remember correctly, it didn't come with a Delson statue. Only like some, the Delson statue was like super rare or something. And the collector's yeah. edition came with like a beanie or whatever. I honestly get the collector's edition just for the statues. I think statues yeah. are awesome. I don't like you know like comic book stores sell like action figures or figurines or whatever right. i think those are kind of dumb to be totally honest unless they have a plate to stand on if they have a plate to stand on then it's cool it's like a decoration i can put one over right. on that bookshelf i can put like up here no i'm not gonna do that i was gonna take the camera and turn around because yeah. <laughs> there's a uh, rick there's a rick grimes little yeah. you know i can pull him out too but there's rick standing with drake and they're both just on the little shelf yeah. but i couldn't turn the camera around because there's a light but mm. got little rick here Look at them. It's. I think these guys are called like pop something, pop heroes maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they got the big heads. Pretty cute. Look at him. If you ever saw a cute Rick, it's this guy. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I like statues a lot, but I have to save, and I'm gonna get Uncharted Four Collector's Edition no matter what, and then Batman Arkham Knight, and probably the Order, probably the Order. Like the more I see about it lately, it seems to be promising. Yeah. It seems to be promising. Maybe Bloodborne as well. Probably uh, not, yeah. but maybe. It, Bloodborne really seems like a less intense version of um, uh, Dark Souls. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. It seems... I feel like it's more... Uh, I don't know if it would be less intense. To me, it seems very, like, at not, the Not less level. intense, but, like, probably more smooth than the Dark yeah. Souls game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mechanically, Souls, it looks it better. It was very... 
you can get lost easy, and you can like sometimes like Gabby, she got she got stuck at one point and had to delete her save and start all the way from the beginning. Dang. Yeah, That's that... how bad you can get stuck in the game. Yeah. And so it it seems hopefully they iron out some of the, like the what am I doing here issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the issues. I really I don't know. I'm hoping. I might get it. I probably have like a 40, 40 I'm going to say that I have a at the right now my chances of getting that game is 40%. like 45 45%. 45%. <laughs> because I mean smooth it looks mechanically better than Dark Souls but still to me I don't really right. I, I don't I, know. I, I, do, I have too many you, other things to play in. You do. need to at least try a Dark Souls game cuz like I have. I don't You have. Pretty I sure. really love I love the how you can like you have control of your shield and your sword and how you move. And it's really, um, yeah. I, just lo- I like the combat. I just wish, um, there was a little bit, it was a little bit more straightforward in terms of story. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But, um, and where you're supposed to go. I don't know. Dark souls is like dark souls and pr- potentially bloodborne. This is why I'm only at 45% at pre-ordering it is to me. Mm-hmm. It seems like, a Dragon Age or a Dark Souls or a Skyrim where you have to sink tons of hours yeah. into that game to really get enjoyment out of it. Whereas you can pop in yeah. Uncharted 4 and play the first level in 30, 45 minutes and have an awesome time. Wait, see, here's the thing with Dark Dark Souls. It's it's less, at least in Dark Souls, this is how it is. Um, it's kind of like doing a, a new raid in Destiny every every hour. Yeah. And yeah. See, that's you, you not. Go, you find a boss, and you figure out how to do it, and then you keep doing it for like an hour, and you finally get, and you're like, yes, and you're like, feel good about it, and then you continue. You find the next boss, and it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. See, I, I, I don't know. But there, most there, people take longer than blah, blah, blah. an hour well, yeah. <laughs> to finish it, and see, I, I don't know. That's not. I mean, I would like that if I had that time, and if. Basically, if I had that time, which I kind of do, but I'd rather spend it on multiple of other fewer amount of time games. It's kind of like fighting. It's kind of like fighting Omni Goal at her feet. That's kind of what it feels like when you're fighting the bosses. Okay. Terrifying and difficult. Yeah. See, that's not appealing. (laughs) me but it sort of is i understand the appeal but okay the, like it. you hate it all the way through but then when you kill a boss you feel good that's how that's the feeling i i don't know it's weird yeah i again <laughs> i understand it i just don't yeah. have the time but right um so yeah if bloodborne seems a little like maybe if it seems a little easier i might get it i don't know i uh, it's a I probably won't get it. I'm gonna call it right now. I I, I have too many other things, I, I and I always yeah. have destiny. So right. always have that to worry uh, about. But um, it. yeah. But I'll definitely the order is probably third on the list. Mo- the most like strong point of the order why I would get it is probably because of co-op. That is yeah. like a big thing. Yeah. For me at least. I don't know. Like. A third Sounds person co-op, co-op with a probably a decent story. I'm yeah, but I'm not gonna see like I see the order and I see the demos and them going through a level and shooting the and then I see all those trophies and they're very uncharted esque trophies where you're just going through a single player and yeah I don't know I I don't I don't really want to blend that with a co-op experience just me personally but maybe a second time through I can you know. There are, well, there are definitely moments I'm where you could maybe, do co-op, but it's not it's like kind of like co-op. Okay, see in like Halo, um, your their co-op characters actually had meaning. Yeah. It's not like Left 4 Dead two two or one where it's just like, oh hey, it's this random person or like, uh, and <clears throat> I'm trying to find another parallel. I can't find it, but um, no, I, you know I get it. I I just it seems like. From the way the game is developed, it literally it seems more like a linear, uncharted type of experience, and I don't want to just throw another person in that. I'd like to just experience it myself, you know, instead of just messing around and shooting things. I, I know what you're saying, person. but maybe there's a horde mode or something. I don't know. 
I mean, uh, I'll definitely play co-op. It's just not, it's not like, whoa, co-op is the big thing yeah. for me. I, I don't well, know. The it, big it, thing it, for me is the guns and like, third-person shooter. I like saying, okay, I know you weren't, bit, you were actually just saying that. I think it would be cool to see uh, Uncharted with co-op. I don't well, know. there is, but it's not the single player experience. Yes, uh, yeah. that's that's the difference. It's there's a whole single player, and then there's actually places designed for co-op. Like yeah. there, that that's actually one of the cool things about Uncharted Three that I liked. They had the multiplayer, and then they had co-op, co-op. where it was basically like three people. You sort of had to go through this own story section. It was kind of horde oh, mode ish. Right. It was pretty cool. I really liked that, but. Yeah, so the order, I'll probably get that. Probably. You never know, but probably. Yes. So. That's pretty much what's on my list. Yeah. Uncharted, Uncharted Batman, the order. Um, I also. <laughs> so I just want to point this out to anybody who's watching. I know, I know you know this. So I, I pre-ordered Grim Fandango Remastered because it's 15 bucks, and I've heard so many good things about that. It's like this old game this old adventure game that I've, I don't know. I've heard tons about and that, and literally that's all I know. I've heard it's great. It's this old adventure game by Tim Schafer and they're remastering it for the PS4. So I pre-ordered it. And I, I think that's kind of cool that I'm going to go in blind. I, I I don't know. Hopefully I'll like it. it. It seems like something I'd like. seems like goofy or whatever, but um, yeah. then again, I don't really know. <laughs> I I think it's cool that for once, I always, every Assassin's Creed, every Call of Duty, every whatever, every big tr- release, I look into it. I look at the trailers, and I look at the reviews and all that, and then I play it. This is I, this I'm just playing <laughs> for the first time in a long time. But, yeah. so. Uh. So, Eric, no. <laughs> you know what came out this week as I just shake uh, my monitor. Non-cheese update? No cheese? Uh, that did. That did come out this week, but you know what else <laughs> came out this week? Um, On PC in early okay, access. Yeah, H1Z1 that I watched yeah. like three hours of last Dude, night. Dude, yeah. I stayed H1Z1. Fuck. came out this this week on steam in early access to people who don't know what h1z1 is it is basically daisy if you don't you know what? let's start with daisy you don't know what daisy is this is what daisy is daisy was a mod created for arma 2 on the pc that added zombies added like this survival thing you got other people it in it you got survival kind yeah of it's of it's this survival and, game um, open world you got the people you got the zombies you gotta keep yourself hydrated and fed and yeah. all that and and uh, you just go around this world and try and loot guns and whatnot. Good and it Destiny blew up. Is broken. <laughs> it blew up in 2012. Around, I think that was the year. 2012, yeah, maybe 11. Yeah, I think, it, I think it was the summer of 2012. It blew up. And then the guy who made it started to make the standalone. And the standalone is crap. I think the guy has horrible morals. He doesn't. He's not really developing his game. He doesn't really care. He's left. Yeah. He makes his own right. studio now, and Daisy is on his on their own with five people in it now, unless they hired a six. But uh, so yeah, it's horrible. They don't have much plans on developing it. They don't have much resources to develop it, other than the money that that guy made, which he didn't put towards the company. He put towards himself, if I know this correctly. So and also that sale thing. That's yeah, old... yeah, it's bad. But um. So, Sony Online Entertainment, the people who developed Planet Side 2 and DC Universe Online and some other stuff, EverQuest, that's yeah. true. Um, those are the big ones. They developed that. They are also, and publish, they are also, they made, they started, yeah, they announced this game called H1Z1 that is basically a DayZ type of thing, but it's with It's them. from the ground up. <laughs> yeah, it's from the ground their up. Their own engines. Their own engines. Their own whole, thing thing Mm -hmm. and it has a you know trust a trustable is that a word yes yes a trusting Um, sort of yeah trustable a developer that is that you can trust behind it that will improve it and will actually put it out and they have money to support it as well (laughs) yeah they have money to support it and so they announced it they said it's going to come to pc first with an early access and then it's going to come to ps4 
So I'm waiting for it to come to PS4 because by then every almost everything will be ironed out and whatnot. But whew, I'm gonna play it on PC first it came because out on it's coming. So no. No, no, I'm not going to play it on PC. Like, like if they put it on PS4, they will have spent tons of time. Like, I think it's going to be a year, a year and a half by the time it comes out on PS4. Because right now, it's such a PC game. The menus, everything is PC about it. Yeah. So they got to... They got to, first of all, port it to PS4, and then freaking, they got to change the whole menu system. Like, they, yeah. they got to, that's what's going to be crazy. Dude, but I, it's going to be dude, awesome with good servers, good, reliable FPS on PS4. You got your friends on PS4. It's going to be cool. Another so, thing I'm really optimistic about is that it uses the same engine as Planetside, which can hold a crap ton of people, which is, uh, which makes you yeah. know that you're, you'll be good. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. But it came out on early access, and basically the first day it came out, it basically didn't work. Like, barely anyone was getting into the, the servers. The servers were pretty much yeah. overloaded. Yeah, no one no one got in. A couple of people got in, but, like, everyone else that was trying to get in didn't really get in. Yeah. And uh, they... We, the second day it was ironed out, and there are still a bunch of bugs and whatnot, but everyone's really freaking a few upset. Graphical... Bugs and what what color. I didn't get is why everyone was like, "Oh, these freaking developers lying to me, man! They didn't freaking they didn't d deliver on their game." It says the launch was bad. That's what kills me. Everyone was saying the launch was bad. It's an early access game. It didn't launch. This was not yeah. its launch. It was its early access launch. Uh -huh. It's an alpha. It's not even a beta. Don't expect it to work. <laughs> Don't expect right. it to work. I just wanted to get that off my chest. And for because... what it is, it's pretty dang good. Yeah, it's you. Polish. You should talk about what you saw. I watched a full three-hour stream. I'll of be it right back. On, yeah, you can on YouTube. Talk. Okay, <laughs> go. Um, pretty much these uh, these guys I watched. It was like Stone Mountain sixty four stream. It, it was like last night, and um, they freaking it was good. It, it, all the menus were polished. And the gunplay was good. I mean, some of the, some of the things like the scopes were very um, weird because it like would the scope would be like really tiny. But um, yeah, the gunplay the that you have like melee weapons, of course, and that worked too, unless you like hit your friend in the back on accident when you're trying to run run down someone for the shirt. Um, there's, of course, gonna be, there's a lot of bandits right now, because there's no, like, clear objective, but, I mean, the looting is fine, and I heard they said it runs well, and Teddy's back. I entertained the masses. Oh, nice, good job. So, <laughs> what'd um, you say? I was pretty much talking about the details of, like, how performance, and in terms of how well H1Z1 does, and, and performance is... Fine. Pe yeah, people were so getting far it seems good. Like, like 90 seem FPS yeah. on map settings and stuff like that. Um, It'll still. See, my whole worry with this is that it's still going to need a lot of optimization for a console. Like, oh, right. It's not going to have that render distance. It's going to have to um, go back down and all sorts of stuff. I think they're compensating for render distance right now with uh, fog. Yeah. Which uh, I'm fine with. And the also, the rain with. is like pretty much white lines there on your screen, and it's really annoying. Hmm. Uh, they, they probably did that for FPS reasons. Maybe yeah. they'll fix that in the future. I don't know. Hopefully, but it makes, uh, it, like about when you see rain, it's weird. But <laughs> yeah, seriously, I really can't wait until that comes to PS4. With hopefully they'll like uh, they'll they'll have battle royale servers. They'll have uh, right. normal servers, all sorts of stuff. Because battle royale is what I took out of That's seeing cool. people play it. Because mm. that looks awesome. Like, it's basically, for anyone who's played Minecraft Hunger Games, it's that, but, like, in a survival type of setting, first-person, you know, Your shooter gun, guns, yeah. yeah. So, and and normally you have, oh, man, this would be so awesome if they put this on PS4, but I don't know if they will. There's proximity chat, so, like, you, oh, you gosh, just it's hold so the key. Funny. Yeah, yeah, you just Super hold funny. the key, and anyone in, like, I don't know, 50, 100 feet 
hears it. So, like, you hear a guy yeah. and you're like, you where are you, there. man? Where are you? And then they can hear you, too, oh, and they can interact is with you as well. That's that's what the magic of it is. The magic. I, I saw, I linked you something last night, at, like, in the middle of the night, and um, it was... I a, guess I missed it. I it, was, it was on the Facebook uh, chat, and um, pretty much... It was like the beginning of the stream. I was watching uh, H1Z1, and these guys were oh, chasing yeah, I saw these that. guys. <laughs> it wasn't that funny to me. Shirt. But yeah, I thought it was hilarious. I, I, I it's pretty laughing. standard stuff. It's like Daisy 2012 stuff, where they're just like, yeah, I didn't watch oh. Daisy. I watched like serious <laughs> Daisy stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I like saw Frank my best part. My favorite thing that I had seen was um, freaking. I saw. I saw Jericho do a battle royale, and mm. it was basically people kept stealing his car and whatnot. Like like multiple yeah. times, people kept stealing his car, and then like he had to beat someone down with an axe. But that just I don't know. He was like, "Give me a shirt, man," and they were like, "No, don't take my shirt." It seemed like no. such I don't know, but it was, it was good. But yeah, H one Z one man, it has a Jack's lot of potential today, instead yeah. of. Yeah, Z, which has it none. Jet Frags uploaded a video of H One Z One Battle Royale, and it's like a one minute and thirty second long video. And he probably like does he just die and or something? Uh, he like walks ten feet. The, everyone drops from the sky. Yeah. And some people register at they wait some some of the falls get registered and they die instantly, <laughs> and some of the falls register like five minutes later and then they die. <laughs> Is that what happened? So, like, the thing started and the, they were about to left, do it, and then he was like, oh. People die, people die, people die. So, like, pretty much the game was over. He died in, like, the first wave of registered <laughs> falls. So, and he was like, welcome to H1Z1. <laughs> yeah. Glitchy is crap. Yeah, it's still glitchy, but it has a lot of promise, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Packers are 16 and 0. Oh, snap. Where you at, Seattle? Oh. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> what, oh my gosh, what's that thing? What? Wombo combo? Yeah, the wombo combo thing. <laughs> oh, I forget. I haven't heard it in so long. I kind of want to like... That, that ain't Falco. <laughs> that ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. That's the first thing. But then it, what does he say after that? He yeah. says... Oh, <laughs> you it. Go. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get it if I can find it. Which I can't. Because I that? suck. Where the crap is it on this... Hey. Oh, that ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. It just says, Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Wait for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that last part's the best. Uh, okay. <laughs> so let's uh let's discuss did we get anything interesting in destiny in our three nightfalls our three heroics our three vault of glasses and our three no. crotas the answer for you oh, yes think think about it mate what did you get just just think go well, back recap no recall. exotics this week unfortunately. besides besides i did buy um glass house and obsidian mind no i already had yeah. obsidian mind I bought Glass House, so that's yeah. the only exotic I've gotten this week. Um, the Titan main didn't get have enough points mirror. to get it. I got a second Hawk Moon. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah. Was, what was that from? <laughs> uh, Crota. Okay. What'd you Crota. get from your Nightfalls, mate? You got like uh, 11 coins on one of them. 11 coins? That was pretty much the best thing I got. Okay. Everything else was energies, I think, and shards. Okay. Um, so... so... But on my warlock, I did get three pieces of armor from Carta. Thanks. Last night. Gosh dang it! I'm so freaking. <laughs> that made me. It wasn't so last upset. night, but because I needed yeah. basically anything, and I only got gloves. You got <laughs> gloves, yeah. On the first, on the abyss, and then everything else, nothing, nothing. The funny thing is that that was my second thing. That was my second run on my warlock. Yeah. Mm. So. <laughs> uh. So. Yeah, that was my second on my hunter too. Actually, that's kind of crazy now that I'm thinking about it. That first, I did, I did one on my hunter the week before, and I didn't get anything. I didn't get any armor. 
This is my yeah. second week, and I, I got my first piece of Corona armor. Oh, yeah. Gosh dang it. So, I actually got some... I, I got pretty freaking lucky, if I do say so yeah, myself. Got, I got dark. nothing from Nightfall. From th all three Nightfalls, I got legendary guns that I don't care about and were crap. Yeah. And I was it's really upset. Um, Zer, when Zer came, I bought the Icebreaker. Um, because my old Icebreaker was an old Icebreaker. And then... Yeah, mm -hmm. it was it was uh, the two ninety two ninety one version, mm -hmm. and then on Crota, I got nothing from the Death Singer drop. We only saw one person get one thing the whole week. We get, he got Dragon's Breath. Yeah, the one guy got Dragon's Breath on our last Crota run. On our first two with our normal group, no mm -hmm. one got anything. Like we were like, oh snap, here's the exotic drop. Nothing, and then we did it again. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that was I got Hawk Moon. Yeah. Oh, you got wait from Crota drop? Crota, yeah. From Death Singer? No, not from Death Singer. Oh, okay. I was talking about Crota. From Crota, I you were talking about Crota. himself. Um, yeah. Crota. Yeah. Uh, I. But from Vault of Glass, I mm. got from Vault of Glass on hard. I read Another three, three different characters. <laughs> Hold on, three different characters. First run, I got. Hard light from the first run through yeah. from the exotic chest. These are all from the exotic chest. I was like, let's see here. Oh wow, hard light. So yeah. that crossed off the list. Next, I actually got another vex. That's well, yeah, I got another vex this week too. <laughs> I don't even count it. But um, the second one that was on my titan. The second time I run it, I go to the exotic chest. I'm like, oh, I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably yeah. not gonna get anything here. Red Death crossed yeah. off the list. Third time, I go through on my hunter, and I'm like, I'm definitely not going to get anything here, but let's just see what it is. And then I just sit here, I, I hold square, and I'm like, Whoa. I got Hawk Moon. I felt like such a freaking pimp because I was like, man, if I get if I get a third, I will have gotten an exotic from this chest yeah. with all three characters in one week, and that'll just be freaking boss. And I just hold it, and I'm like, I see the yellow come up, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> and then and then it fills, and I'm just like, Hawk Moon, all yep. right. Because you know what makes that even better, people who don't know, is that all I needed, I had a list of Google documents, you know, that were old, and I had old weapons. I had uh, 15 the, uh, well, out of yep. 18, and then I had, you know, 18... I had 15 that were upgraded, and I had Icebreaker, and I had Icebreaker and Aw and Hawkmoon as the two that weren't upgraded yet, mm. and the only ones that I needed upgraded. Bought yep. Icebreaker from Zer, got a new Hawkmoon, so I don't <laughs> have any old weapons now. They're all upgraded. I have 18 of 25 exotics. I'm getting there. So it was a really lucky week. Yeah. I probably won't be as lucky next week, but I'll take it. Freaking Hawkman, I'm I'm and leveling that today. All I need right now is boots for Booties. all my characters. Booties. And but besides my besides my hunter, I need chess piece and all my characters can be level thirty two. I need either a chess piece or Actually, a helmet on my I need warlock. Chest piece and boots on all thirty. My Titan can be thirty two right now. Yeah. He's not going to be, though. <laughs> I have I need either a chess piece or a oh, helmet dude. for my warlock. Freaking Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday is hard mode. Oh, snap. Yeah, new topic. Segway. <laughs> Non-existent Segway. Um, Wednesday drops hard mode in Destiny for Crota's End. Yep. Destiny. Crota's End. Hard it's mode. Destiny. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to do... We're probably going to run, you know, two normals on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, me, Eric, Ryan... And J Money, I'm not sure about Fleabag. Are we'll be able to we'll be able to run hard mode. We'll have to grab a couple of thirty twos and keep going. So yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Um we'll actually it's crazy to me because when Vault of Glass happened, we didn't get to you know, the Vault of Glass mm -hmm. was with the release of the game, so we didn't get there very quickly. Dude, we didn't and even then, get to thirty until gosh. No. We didn't even get to twenty eight, that's the thing, not thirty. Yeah. Um then we didn't get to Vault of Glass when it came out. We we didn't get to Vault of Glass hard when it came out either. Um, we weren't ready for that. We didn't get to stinking Crota when it came out because we were all out of town. This 
is actually a thing when Crota's End Hard, when a raid, a version of a raid in Destiny is coming out, and we, most of our group, can do it legitimately. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. Hopefully, oh man, I don't know. It's awesome. Well, we got, we get new drops from it. We get the primary weapons from it. Oh, oh man. Bang of you. I'm coming for you. Word of Crota. <laughs> Word, word of, of Crota, word yes. of Crota, mate. Oof, those um, are the two I'm really excited about. Mm, so I guess yeah. Necrochasm. Uh, oh, Necrochasm. I actually like fully. I had Eidolon Alley was one of the guns that I've told you that I have maxed, but mm -hmm. I hadn't put resources in. The other day, after playing, or yesterday after playing, I was like, eh, I'll just dump it in here. I didn't even finish. Yeah. I still have two nodes left on it until yeah. I ran it. I had six thousand glimmer. Tried upgrading Eidolon Alley. Didn't even get all the way. Ran out of glimmer. Wow. So that's yeah. why I'm constantly low on Glimmer because every now and then I'll just like, oh, I'll finally upgrade this weapon. Zero. Yeah, I'm in mind. <laughs> oh, well, so good. Good for you. I can't do that. So it's cool. Maybe we'll get from Nightfall this week. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd like that. Let's see. Any progress on the game? No, it's still 16 0. Uh, I think it's the third quarter now, so they're done with halftime, it looks like. Uh, Russell Wilson is coming up, coming up to bat. Oh, wait, this isn't baseball. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he snapped the ball, handed it off to the running back. He's running to the outside. He got, he, he got like four yards. He got like four yards. He sucks. That's why they're losing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. It's right into the microphone. I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah. Also, we did not dis – oh, well, there's the Destiny update. What – the update came out on Tuesday. Basically, it fixed all the cheeses yeah. in Crota or most of the cheeses most in Crota. Cheeses. And then there's on – and then in Vault of Glass, it – Made the weapons 32. Good um, stuff. The exotic weapons. Um, it's an easy... I, that took like two seconds to cover. I don't know. It wasn't yeah. too big of an update. Um, we didn't discuss any of what we've been playing or watching. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of obvious. Have you been that watching been something? Destiny. Well, yeah, Destiny, but we always discuss if we've Parks been playing Rec. anything else. Ro Eric <laughs> is still on Parks and Rec. Yeah. Um, uh, well, technically, I am too since it's ongoing now. Since yeah. it's going. I watched the two season one episodes, season seven episodes. They're really good. I'm trying to think of anything else I'm watching. Uh, Freaking Death Note uh, is awesome. Death Note is getting really good. It's getting yeah. really intriguing. Like, seriously, there's no action scenes. I've told you this. There's no action scenes. It's all intelligence. And, like, it's Dying just, from heart I don't, attacks. I really want to know what happens. It's just really Everyone intriguing. Dies. It's getting really intriguing. It's, it's, my, my it's really friend, interesting. My friend Jessica told me the whole like movie, the death, the Death Note movie, the live action. That's a thing. Because yeah, there's a live action movie. There's several live action. She told me the first movie, so I was like, oh, sure, go ahead and tell me. I, I I have nothing better to do. And she, she didn't told me tell you the how, ending, right? She told you like the premise. Uh, premise and kind of like some of the action scenes. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I didn't mind because it's a live action, so... Interesting. I, mean, Interesting. I might watch it, but I'm not... I'd you, probably watch you it. You should watch it. I'm know. I'm not, like, whole, like hardcore, arrow, flash, binge-watching it type of thing. I'm right. I'm literally just watching an, epi an episode or two, like, every night, and not That's even every cool. night. Like, Saturday, I didn't watch any, but last night... Or Saturday, or Friday, I didn't watch any, but Saturday, I watched two. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But, um... That's really good. Parks and Rec is really good so far of season seven. Um, let's see. I don't think there's much else. No. Constantine came back. I haven't seen the most recent one. No, I, I did learn a lot about um, <clears throat> about um, freaking Death Note. Yeah. How like L holds his phone up like this. <laughs> yeah, and it's weird. Dude, like there's really one. Weird. You know what? I don't want to tear this quote away from you. But there's this one freaking quote or dialogue that happens that's just the stupidest thing. It's so hardcore anime where there's like these stupid freaking scenes that are like pointless. Like, like there's this one freaking moment where he hugs this girl and that's it. For, for like, it's a 20 second thing where he goes, puts his arm around her and it freaking replays it. And it's like a sound of like, and then her going, <gasps> and it replays <laughs> that sound four times in different angles. It shows it. It goes, shoo, 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 from like five <laughs> different angles. And then freeze frame on her face. And she's like, <laughs> it's the 
the weirdest crap. It's the weirdest crap. There are so many moments like that, but it's so funny. But then again, the prep. Yeah, the premise is actually serious and really good, but there are so many dumb anime moments like that. Yeah. But um, I don't think there's any other shows. Flash and Arrow come back next week. Holy crap. Wait a minute. Dude. The 100's back already. Dude. Constantine's back. 100's not back. It? It's coming up this week, it's too. This week. Constantine's okay. back. Um, Constantine's back. Holy crap. Arrow. Wells is... Dude, Arrow and Flash... Come out. Wells killed Dumbledore. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Arrow and <laughs> Flash come out in two days. Two days, bro. Dude, holy crap. That's when I have a lot of homework. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, dude. And guess what's coming out oh Tuesday? Another episode of Parks and Rec. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Everything comes back this week. Oh my gosh, we can talk about Arrow again. We can talk about The Flash again. We can Walking talk dead. about the 100. Walking Dead doesn't come back for a long time, sadly. Yeah. Um, but everything else will be back. Every Literally, everything but The Walking Dead will be back. Do they really just do these stupid breaks because of football? They do the breaks because of Christmas and holidays. They don't do it because of football. And football. That's what I heard. I had no idea. Especially I thought they Super just did Bowl. it because of holidays. Took a break because they were filming and well, all. Dude, you know how much people watch Super Bowl. Well, yeah, but that's not even... I guess that's probably why Walking Dead does it. Everyone else does. Yeah, yeah Walking Dead airs on Sundays, so that makes sense. Everyone else airs on weekdays. So, that makes sense for Walking Dead. For everyone else, it doesn't. But, um... Oh my gosh, it's coming back! It's all coming back! I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for Arrow and the Flash, dude. Like, yeah. I, I could cry. Like, I rewatch those 30-second trailers every day. Every day, I rewatch it. It's... Uh... Just imagine when we have a season break. Dude, it's been more than a year since I, the last season of Game of Thrones. It's horrible. Mm. Like, the breaks between seasons are insane. Yeah, they're pretty huge from what I've heard. But the good thing is, like, at, at each episode's, like, really long. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's oh. a, that That about covers it. Um, oh, wait, Game of Thrones is coming back. Uh, Game of Thrones April is coming back. 10th or something like that. April. Like, two months. Uh, yeah. It's... A little bit later than The Walking uh-huh. Dead, but... Um, yeah, so that's that's about it, I guess. There's not much yeah. else. Um, Colts, and, Colts and Packers game... Colts, Colts and Patriots Packers game tonight. Game. That's going to yeah. be good. Colts. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully the Packers win this, I guess. I yeah, Packers. guess I'm going for Packers. Sure, why not? Um, I like yeah. the Colts better. Yeah, I like... Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so far they're winning, but... Seahawks might come back. You never know. That was know. a good pass right there. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice pass. <laughs> oh, yeah. So next week we'll, we will report to you guys about PlayStation Now. Next week I also won't stutter as much. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, we'll talk to you next week. We can report back on PlayStation Now. We can report back on Arrow and the Flash and the 100. And we can report back on Crows in Hard Mode. Drop the lit- mic. metaphorical mic. <laughs> Here, mic drop, drop. There you go. Oh, no, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> do you have anything random to show us today, sir? Because I do uh, if you don't. I have something really it's the weird. winter. Freaking wear chapstick. It helps. This really, is, it does. This is true. It's, you might not realize that you have chap lips. Lick your lips and check. Seriously. You might this crack has been a lips. public service announcement from Eric yes, Bailey. P- SGA, PSA, anything. So I also have something random just because I want to show it off. If I can piece it back together. Okay. You see this? Me... Your mic clip. <laughs> yeah, it literally is a mic clip. It, it's supposed <laughs> to be like this. Your wires and stuff. And it goes on the mic stand to like secure <laughs> wires. And I yeah. took it off the mic stand and I broke it. Just bent G-G. it in half. Because I'm the Hulk! <laughs> ah, I should end it by just yelling. Ah, and pressing the end button. <laughs> See you next week! <laughs>